So I recently received a question, uh, should Hibernate entities be managed by Spring? Uh, someone was told that they should be managed by Spring and put into a single con a singleton scope. The <laughs> tongue twister there. Um, the uh, very firm answer is no, they should not be. There's a, a saying that uh, when the only tool in your toolbox is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Uh, Spring is a great context. Uh, context has a lot of capabilities, but it should not be used to manage uh, Hibernate entities. So remember, a Hibernate entity is a POJO that is representing something in the database from the persistence layer, and you could be working with a lot of these. And think of the, the Spring context uh, at a very high level. I'm, I'm going to really, really simplify things here. Um, when Spring starts up, it's going to create instances of the Spring managed beans and effectively put them into a hash map. So when in the running context and you need one, it's going to pull it from that hash map and give you an instance of that. So and this is how, at a very high level, how Spring does dependency injection. So it's going to have a, a collection of objects and, that have been created and it's going to uh, provide those to you when you, you need them. So very handy, a uh, lot of capabilities in, of inversion control and dependency injection, exactly what we want to be using Spring Framework for. Think about if you're doing a high volume of transactional processing, putting all those Hibernate objects into the Spring context would uh, actually be detrimental, something that you do not want to do. There's really no reason to go through the overhead of using that and putting those ent entities into the Spring context. In fact, I'd highly recommend against it. It's something you specifically do not want to do. You do want to keep that context uh, lean and efficient. The more stuff you put in there, the slower your system is going to be, the more memory you're going to be consuming, and, and so on and so on. So uh, actually putting Hibernate entities into the Spring context is a very, very bad idea. I'd highly recommend against it uh, because typically you are going to fetch an entity from the database or maybe persist something to the database. Uh, a very common operation is to do an update, so you're going to get it from the database. You'll create that POJO, work with it, persist it, and then that POJO should go away once you're done working with that. So should Hibernate entities be managed by Spring? I say uh, a very firm no on that.